Hey there, I'm Tim and welcome to Plants vs. Germans. In today's video, I'll show you around my new old farmer's garden. It's not new because it was being used the last couple years, but I just moved here, so I don't have my system running yet and there are definitely a lot of things that I would like to change next year. So, let's get to it. First of all, I'm right here in my greenhouse, just a small greenhouse that still needs some cleaning up and right now I have all my yeah, more tropical plants in here but it has been getting cold lately so I started moving most of them inside so they don't get any frost damage. So this part of the garden has been like the old part basically and we have a raised bed here. It's quite big, it's a bit hard to reach the back of the raised raised bed here but um, you can still plant a lot of stuff in there and right here in this area we mulched a bit and try to keep the weeds out but it doesn't work perfectly as you can see all around here and um, basically we have a lot of big pots here um, that where we plant like different kinds of crops in it you know you can see a brassica down there and we had a tomato in here this year but um, they're not really structured efficiently right now. I'll definitely change that soon. So what I'm doing the next few days or weeks is getting out, out all of the diet of crops and basically getting rid of all the weeds in here. And um, right here we have like a small you know, shed basically or just an area where we have a roof on top and we had some tomatoes in here but only in those small pots and they produced but they could have been a bit better so what I'm gonna do next year is uh, definitely not plant the p tomatoes in there again <laughs> and not in those small pots but since we have a roof I might have to change the roof again because it is kind of broken in some parts and I'll probably just put some plants underneath there like some um, peppers I, I guess because they don't grow that high or that tall so they definitely fit underneath the roof like the tomatoes they had a rough time because they actually grew up all the way and couldn't grow past the roof which is not that great but yeah I'll definitely get that fixed and clean out all the um, stuff in the back there and as you can see like a lot of stinging nettle just growing everywhere gotta get rid of most of it same goes for the stuff in here, a lot of stinging nettles, and a zucchini that's left in here, but it's it's a goner. Oh, and the snails have been, or the slugs have been eating this one too. Yeah, but as you can see, it's just if I reach all the way back, I, I can't reach the back part there, and it's always rough to go in the back here because of all the weeds that are growing here. So and because of the blackberry bush here and it is quite big and it definitely grows all over here and you don't want to get stuck in there but something I'll do this week I'll clean this out and I'll definitely have to refill it since the soil I think it's been two years since this it's been filled so it's the soil level isn't that high anymore as you can see like yeah it's definitely like around 20 or 30 centimeters deep now on the edge and you don't want that it's fine to have like a bit I want to refill it up to here basically and we've been keeping a lot of salad uh, or lettuce and a lot of herbs in there and the zucchinis like the ones that you can see here and we had some Hokkaido pumpkins or squash but they didn't, it's, I think this this plant here, it doesn't look that great. And I'm definitely not going to put this on the compost. The same goes um, for the tomatoes in the back here. I'm not going to compost those since they have all kind of disease. Same goes for this one and I'll just get rid of it some other way. And the weeds in there, I'm probably just going to leave them in there. Just cut them off and just leave them as mulch because it doesn't look like there are a lot of 
seed pods in there anymore. And if they are, I'm just going to pluck them out and just get rid of them too. Don't really want to compost them. But um, I'll just see if there's any anything left in there that I could put on the compost. The newest addition in here is this uh, kiwi plant. We planted it near the post here so it has a chance to use this as a trellis and we'll hope it'll grow nice and big and we'll have our first kiwis next year and that's the it's called bayan kiwi it's a small one it's only like this big and it has basically no hair so you can eat it with uh, the skin on and it's a really hardy kiwi plant it should survive temperatures for as much as like minus 30 degrees celsius so i'm looking forward to this one right next to this area is the greenhouse and as you can see it it's kind of in a rough shape the um, panels up there have been like sliding down and I definitely have to get that fixed and up on top there the material is getting loose so the rain comes in and the water just drops down there as you can see here the stuff that should actually keep the water out just comes out and it is for it's quite big it's not it's not that big right it's a small greenhouse but it definitely will help me next year to get the stuff started and I've been growing some Asia lettuce in there which actually looks quite nice I really have to harvest it soon so in the back of the area here we still have a patch of grass and it's quite big Right now the dogs are here normally during the day when no one's at home and they like to just walk around here obviously but I'm thinking about just putting some raised beds here in between and filling that space so because if that's a valuable plot of land right to grow some new vegetables to be able to grow different kinds of varieties and just a lot for self-sustainability. And in the back here, I already have like a small grow back with some mint varieties. I think this is chocolate mint and the other is, I think, pineapple or strawberry mint. I'm not 100% sure. And in here, we've been keeping some herbs too, but it doesn't look really nice right now. A lot of weeds growing in here and some rhubarb in there too. Um, and I'm definitely gonna clean this out soon and I'm thinking about just filling up some new soil in here too and structuring it a bit more properly so or a bit more efficient so thanks for watching I still have a few videos in the pipeline where I'll show you around the other parts of the garden where I want to set up some raised beds and also some no dig beds and I have a tunnel a greenhouse tunnel that I would like to set up and I'll be showing you those parts soon. So thanks for watching and see you next time.